What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. Today is finally, finally Friday. Snap on truck, Hamilton. That's all it takes to have a good Friday. You guys, come on. It's Friday. Finally Friday. Finally. I see you got some GB 50s over there. You must have yeah. them on sale. Have that many stacked up in a wad. Everything's on sale. <laughs> That's what you like to think anyway. Yeah. No. They got some GB 50s. I ain't yeah. never had the 50s on the, here. We always had the 40s. Mm -hmm. And of course 70s is most common and then the 150s. Uh, but yeah, we do get these on a pretty good deal though. So it's hard to beat them no cos, man. It is. It's crazy what they do. Especially for this size. time of the year, we're gonna need them. <laughs> Realize I got to have two new batteries for my truck the other day. Luckily, I got a, a one fifty in the t toolbox of it. So yep, it's getting that time of year when it's eighty degrees in the daytime and thirty at night. <laughs> Walk out this morning, I'm ever crossing my hoodie in the seat right here because walk outside this morning, it was cold and the cold really went bad, but the rain in and mm -hmm. out the truck, getting everything ready. I had to put my hoodie on to keep from getting soaking wet. But it's been nice weather this week, though. It has. I like it. Besides the it rain part like of it. Yes, yeah. Without yeah. the rain. Nice. What well, are you doing? Have a trade in scanner? Another one. Hey, how many you trading in? Four in two weeks now. Really? Yeah. I didn't know it. I can't remember the software on this. I think it's 14 or 15 software. Like the uh, Scanner King, ain't you? It has been. <laughs> it's crazy how it goes like that, though. You'll never know what it's going to be. No, 16.2. Wow. Uh, you never know what you're going to What's the newest software? 21.4. So somebody get a good deal in that, huh? Yeah. Let that one go cheap. Cheap. Now that cheap. goes like your income level dictates what cheap is. You know, <laughs> like well, cheap like, to Donald Trump's probably ten thousand. Yeah. You know, so my cheap is lower than your cheap. So I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You look at Snap-on prices all day. <laughs> Like when I go to Walmart, I'm like, damn, that's expensive. You go to Walmart, you're like, shit, that's cheap. <laughs> well, I'd take two of them. <laughs> <laughs> $25 for a pack of toilet paper. That's a bargain right there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Everybody's jealous because I can joke about prices with you, and they can't do that with their Snap-on guy. I'm Some like, guys get all upset and butthurt about it. It doesn't bother me. I don't care. I well, mean. Talk about butthurt. Uh-oh. Buddy. When I mentioned something last week when we did the video talking about Milwaukee batteries falling out, holy cow, Milwaukee has a fan base. I will say they that. They do that. It don't matter if it's a better tool. Like, And I didn't say anything bad about Milwaukee. I actually said in that video, Milwaukee makes a great tool. They're stronger. We've proved that in tests. You know, like Milwaukee kicks everybody's ass. But they have battery issues. And yep. oh my goodness, I've got crucified over that. Like. No, no more Milwaukee talk. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, I haven't got any text messages in a while because you know you used to. Of course, you know you probably you get them too though. But I tell you, people all, they'd be mm -hmm. wanting to send me threatening messages. Like I don't care. It's just my opinion. If these pliers are better than another one, I yeah. mean that's my opinion. Your opinion may not be that these are the worst ones out there. You know. Yeah. But it. it to me, it don't give me you a right to send me a message threatening to whoop my ass or <laughs> to whoop my wife's ass or something because the, well, I, that's my what I told him. I said I'll the start the showing you every time you get on one of our tool trucks. If you'll notice, there's Milwaukee tools laying in the floor. Either tools or batteries, every single yeah. time, and that's where you guys are sending them off. Now, granted, there's a large amount of them out there in the market because yeah. everybody buys Milwaukee. Myself included, I bought three new Milwaukee tools this week. Yeah, well, I you mean. Know? And uh, you just can't say I mean, nothing bad about Milwaukee. People get, uh-oh. 
this is this week. This is just this week. Now, granted, this battery works. You plug it up on your gun, this one here worked like a champ. But they dropped it, and the top broke off of it. Mm -hmm. Not a defect of the tool or the battery. Right. And that's what, they're not going to fix this one out here for free. Mm -hmm. Snap-on, on the other hand, if you did this with your brand new battery, and it's day 364 of the 365 day warranty, or that's got two year warranty, but we don't do the math for some folks. But if you got one day left, and you drop it and the top pops off. So you drop it at 272 days, they're, they're going to fix it. They're going to fix it for free. Because it's under warranty. And they're not going to ask questions about it. This one is under warranty. But they are not going to fix this battery. Or they're not going to send you a new battery out for free. They're just not going to do it. They're going to send, they're going to call me. And they're like, hey, we got this 5.0 battery right here. That the tops broke off of. And, uh. We're not fixing that battery, but mm -hmm. we'll send you a new one for whatever price that they're going to do it for that week, you know? And well, I know guys have sent me messages. Man, these five guys work in my shop. We all have Milwaukee. Nobody's ever had a battery fallout. Nobody's I, ever had battery issues. He's a liar, too. I'm like, well, I don't know. I can't speak. Maybe California's different out there, <coughs> maybe Arizona, but all I know is these three, four tool trucks come by here every week. Just like clockwork. Like, I can almost set a timer what time you're going to be here. Same yeah. with Matco Michael and Joe. And uh, every one of them's got a pile of Milwaukee that they send back every single week. So I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what happens other than here, but I know here it's always. You that really want to hurt some people's feelings? Let's talk about this battery right here, the 9.0 battery. These batteries are they're good. I mean, strong batteries, you know? They have zero warranty anymore. Uh-oh. Milwaukee will not warranty 9.0 batteries anymore. You get, It's on their webpage. You can go to the webpage. And uh, the guy, he gave it to me. I threw it in the drawer earlier, but it really didn't go in the garbage because it ain't no good anymore. It, uh, What's the uh, deal with that? They had so they, many problems out of them. So they backed away from their five-year warranty with it? On the, Well, batteries only got three-year warranty. Oh. But on the 9.0s have zero warranty now. And what I call them, I guess they're already three year old then, ain't they? Now on no 9.0 batteries, you go buy a brand new in the Home Depot, and it has zero warranty on a 9.0 battery. This says that on the website, no 9.0 batteries is warranted anymore. Well, I'd be gotta, pissed if I bought them and then they cancel the warranty. On so, them. if you're buying new Milwaukee batteries, don't go to, or don't buy a 9.0 battery. You buy the 12.0 or the 8.0s or 6 or 5s or whatever, you can get the 18 volt into the 3.0s. But 9.0s have zero warranty on them now. That's some bull crap right yeah. there. Yeah, and that ain't me saying it. That's, you go to MilwaukeeService.com to where you fill out for your warranty stuff, and it tells you on there that the 9.0s don't have a warranty on that them. That ain't right. Like if a guy buys one and don't know that from Milwaukee, like they should pull them off the shelf. That's man. like going to buy a new I'd pickup truck. I'd be pissed. And then they're saying, well, we're not going to warranty the 2021 models or the 2020s because of COVID that year, mm -hmm. you know. Oh well, but but I did. I bought three Milwaukee tools this week. I bought the uh, jigsaw and oscillating tool M12 combo. Home Depot had it for 149. You can't beat that. Two batteries and charger, right? Hey, and then I bought oscillating a tools a bad dude, man. And I bought an M12 radio charger clock to use and uh. I mean, I ain't knocking Milwaukee. They're good tools. I'm just telling you what I see and what I've experienced myself. Mm -hmm. I can't speak for, you know, Juan Hernandez that's in South Texas working on, you know, Peterbilt's. Like, he may have never had a battery issue, but at my shop, and you know for a fact, because yeah. you've seen it, the issues I've had with the M12 stubbies kicking the batteries out like an eject button on an old VCR, and the M18 pointed toward the floor and she won't run. The 2767's yeah. been sent back enough that. So I was, I was gonna clarify that real quick. We're not saying that all the Milwaukee batteries fall out because they all, the 18 volt batteries don't fall out. There's the 12 volt batteries that fall out. Well now I did have the but 18 volt the 18 that would slide volt, forward and lose connection. They lose connection because they're loose. Mm -hmm. And uh, I ain't got one on here, but I, I will though. And we can show everybody what we're talking about. 
But my but, 12 volts, <laughs> man, them stubbies. And their stubby gun is bad to the bone. Like, it's a bad little dude. But it vibrates, and the battery just... And when it falls and hits the ground, it breaks the case. Like, it just, it happens. There ain't yep. nothing you can do to fix it. Other than put you a lanyard around your battery, I guess. I don't know. But... <laughs> Like, I'm not knocking Milwaukee tools, guys. Y'all were missing the whole total point. Like, I'm, all I can do is show you what we've got. Like, he proved it to you in the drawer there. and Well, I got to You know, it is what it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, come up here. You can see the drawer. I empty this out every Monday morning. This is my warranty stuff. Or both of them is warranty stuff. But they, uh, this is from all week. This week from what mm -hmm. we got and stuff. Hammers just broke down. But there's three batteries this week. Last week it had a bunch of ratchets, which I'm not sure how long the ratchets were saved up. Them was from, yeah. And that, that's a totally different situation right there. But which you, uh, you know, and I've heard guys, well, you abuse your tools. You must not take care of your tools. You you treat them like <laughs> crap. Okay. I can tell well, Clay's tools. You can use any of Clay's tools that you want to. Clay's let some people come in and use them. Not anybody, because anybody don't take care of his stuff. But you can come here and use any of Clay's tools that you want to. But when you're done, put them all back in one spot. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to clean them. You don't have to clean them up. You don't have to put them up. I'd uh, rather you not put them up. Just pile them up. Buddy. All in, on one table, and he'll tell you where to put them at. Then, but Clay will clean them with the good old tub of towels every day before he goes home. And he put them all back day. in the box. Shiloh even knows when she gets off work, she come over here and starts cleaning toes because she's ready to go home. She won't sit around and talk and stuff. She wants to go home. Yeah, the uh, FedEx guy actually brought me some tub of towels yesterday. Ordered three cases of them. You know, he goes, "Man, how many of these things do you use?" I said, "As many as I need." Like I ain't shy about pulling them out of the box. Like I'll use them. You know. Yeah. He said it ain't been long. I delivered some more. I was like, "Yeah, I don't know." I, just, I mean, I use them. Everything gets clean gets clean with tub of towels. It is what it is. Yeah. We always sell a bunch of them too. They work. Of course, well, this one's almost empty now. This is the one that I I be using every day. Because of course, everybody when they bring it on here for, to give to me is I think they dip it in oil before they get here on purpose. <laughs> like let's just see how we can if we can if, get him. If we day. get his hands dirty, he'll just give us a new one. Yeah. <laughs> well, what else you got on sale this week? Man, all of it's on sale. I ain't done a whole lot on the truck. I've been so busy off the truck this week. Um, but we got, or you didn't seen the two toolboxes inside, or you seen the boxes at the end, you ain't seen the boxes mm -hmm. yet, but put one of them on here today before we head out. I think too. you got a roll cart and two toolboxes. You may have three toolboxes. Oh, I in do there. got a roll cart. I forgot about that. The blue no, you cart. don't. You don't have a roll cart in there. <laughs> you had a, a roll cart in there. Somebody come picked it up. I forgot. He said yeah. you sold it to him. Yeah, the blue one. I forgot about yeah. that one. Yeah, I think you got two or three toolboxes in there and a roll cart. I do, We're having we, a fire sale uh, this Saturday at the <laughs> shop on some toolboxes. You guys can bring cash. <laughs> I got a, uh, a neon light in that comes with one of the toolboxes. I was going to put it on the truck today, uh, but when I forgot it this morning, I left late. So What kind of neon light? It's a plug-in. It'll be on here next week. It's pretty neat. What is it? Is it like spells out snap-on? That 100 it? and snap-on on it. Really? It's pretty neat. How much you take for that today and not back out? I don't even know how much it costs. I'd go back and look at it and see. <laughs> you see stuff like that, you got to hurry up and order them before they get sold out to other people. Well, you need so, to look at price up because I may need that. Because you know what I got going yeah. in there and you've seen it. So I think it'll fit in good. No, Snap-on has this thing. You know, we got like 6,000 franchises. So they say instead of producing 6,000, let's produce like 300, you know? Yeah. That way they, they build the value. Yeah, yeah, build the value in it, you know? Like That's why they do with their ratchets, like, you know, $300. <laughs> we'll just produce, like, I don't know, 1500 of them this year, and we'll charge everybody $500 for that ratchet. Everybody <laughs> be dumb enough to pay that. It'd be all right. <laughs> oh, you know there's other Snap-on guys right now fuming because I just said that. <laughs> Y'all say he's laughing about it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Hamilton's like, shit, if I can get $500 for it, do it, do yeah. it, son. I don't care. Hey, I, I got buy one, get one free deal going on right now for 500 <laughs> Take your pick, huh? Well, Seven, like, 750 they can have three of them. <laughs> I had a guy got on here, it was this morning. No, yeah, it was this morning. He was like, looking at the ratchet and everything. He's like, how much is it? It was like 145 bucks. And I, mean, I think kind of pissed him off. He's like, I, ain't nobody going to buy that. I'm like, 
I oh, sold ten in the last two weeks. So I mean, if you don't want it, I sell it I next week. I bought one of them for that. Yeah. I mean, if you don't want it, I sell it next week to somebody else. You know. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Like, I got a buddy of mine that's got a car lot. His philosophy is there's a seat. There's an ash for every seat, so he yep. says. He said, I'll price it, and if you don't like it, it don't bother me none. He said, somebody buy it next week. Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah. I'm, my wife works on Whatever. a car lot, so they're breaking records every month on vehicle sales, so something's going on right. Yeah. Somebody's going to buy everything. Maybe they need to keep this chip shortage going. I think it's helped all car sales. <laughs> you ain't kidding. <laughs> Price has gone through the roof on them, that's for yeah, sure. Absolutely. I know we paid to... through the nose for a Jeep and ended up selling it for <laughs> an astronomical <laughs> amount of money, too. So, whatever, right? Well, you're talking about, like, even with the chip shortage, we was talking about that earlier, how uh, everything has chips mm -hmm. in it. I ordered a cell cam that sends pictures to your cell phone, the whole kit, the camera, the external battery, solar charger, extended antenna, because where it's going to be at is not a very good signal area. I got it all in yesterday going through it. I ain't even got no dang chip in there, no cell chip. I called them back this morning. <coughs> I was like, hey, I said, uh, I've got shortage on on my chip. I said, I ain't got the cell phone chip that goes in there. Oh, well, we're sending that to you in eight days. We'll have them back in stock. Like, you didn't think oh, to mention that, that when I ordered stop. it, you know? Man, that would have sucked if you didn't know that and drug that bitch all the way up on, you know, walked a long way yeah. to hook it up. Well, yeah, because, like, we're having to carry dang uh, extension ladder where the camera's going to go to get it up high oh enough where we can get gosh. signal and stuff, you know? That's terrible. I was going through it, and I got the battery charging up and all this, powered the thing on. Like, got it where it took a picture, waiting for it, and then they were coming through my phone. What the crap? So mm -hmm. I broke it back down, look at it, and ain't no dang chip in it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, they don't tell you that when you order them. You know, they don't send it to you and charge you five hundred dollars or Oops. whatever it was. What yeah, got to tell you about that. <laughs> you get it in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well. you got to oh do, do what you can do with it, I guess. What you gonna sell on running boards back here? I just now I bought them. Boards. Yeah, they're gonna go on my Jeep right there. I got some already on there, but I don't like them. What? I want to put bigger tires, and mine come out too far and. And a welder. I didn't even pay no attention to the welder back here. What was that, a Lincoln? No, Snap-on. Snap-on. Old. Uh, Old school bird yeah. there. MM 140. It's already sold. This reason. It was on here a while back. But what was that drop from it the 80s? Now. 90s? Probably 90s. I think yeah. the guy said he, he's figuring 25-year-old. That looks like the one we had at Botech. Yeah. Pretty much the same one. So it's somewhere between 20 and 30. Oh, well, it works, man. You know, it's that, like that old I coffin. I used it at the house. It works. It that works That coffin-style Lincoln 220 welder I got, man. Damn thing welds like a champ. Yeah. So, as long as it works, who cares? No doubt. All right, guys. So we're going to turn this thing off and get everything done because we are looking forward to beer 30. Thank goodness. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. Milwaukee fanboys, don't get your panties in a wad. I don't get paid. And it was a bunch of comments like, oh, he's drinking a Snap-on Kool-Aid because he gets commission. <laughs> like I get commission <laughs> from Snap-on. Okay, keep thinking that. Good job. Anyway, hit that thumbs up. <laughs> Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. Y'all buy something from Snap-on. I need something new. I need to make some money. Yep, my commission. <laughs>